the Tetons. Oop, over here. And this is South Park, Jackson Hole, the southern end of the hole. Another glorious day. I live right over here. And a nice 30 minute run to the bike path. So a little bit of an endurance day. But today I want to talk about the Ethiopians and Kenyans. And there's a lot, a lot been said about maybe what the secrets are of their of their training, of their success, and probably a lot of what you've heard or you know, hey, community motivation. A little bit of traffic. Um, hey, is is it their the size of their calves, the length of their levers, their arms and legs? Is it the food they eat? Is it because they run three times a day and sleep the rest of the day? You know, all this kind of goes into it, but one aspect, and I think one of the key components that's not talked about is their mindset. And these people, these runners, this community is extremely positive, extremely, um, optimistic on life in themselves as runners and this is verbalized out out loud a lot of the words they use i can their mantra i do i am doing all of this optimistic talk that they have that's part of the fabric of their athletic ability is huge for them they truly believe in what they can do and what they're gonna do. And it's used throughout their training event each day. Again, it's, it's a training tool, whether they realize it or not. And just like we would not look to do a marathon or an ultra marathon or any endurance event without doing our long run, I believe this optimistic this positive, this self-affirmation talk that we have with ourselves, whether it's externally or internally, trains the brain. No differently than training our leg muscles, our cardiovascular system. It is highly, highly important to train the brain. And it's something that we can all do. And it's something that the brain adapts to. The, drain, the brain adapts to positive or negative, okay? So we need to use positive talk to create what we want but also to do what we want within our training. So it's very, very important to also create a declaration. If you haven't already, try this. State your goal for the year. Declare your goal. More importantly, declare it to someone else. Let them know what your goal is. And then every time you go out to train, have that positive affirmation of what you need to do that day to reach that goal. I will start using Action words, words that apply to being in the moment of doing something right now. They're not words that are based in the future or the past. I am doing that type of thing. Something that again creates a positive affirmation for yourself that is directly related to what you're doing in the moment. Okay, so try that this weekend and start training the brain. This is something that we all can do that's very, very easy, but it takes time, it takes training. Just like we need to learn how to run well, efficient, train more efficiently, we need to learn how to talk better to ourselves. And then that will create our actions, okay? So a lot of times, what we tell ourselves, our body will start to follow. So try that this weekend, start training the brain. Start training the brain for it to do what you want it to do. All right. Thanks for coming. It's another awesome day. And I'm headed home. Let's go. See ya. The hay is in the barn.